1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. Vibrochamps are a rockabilly band, uh, but we do so much more. We do kind of loungy instrumental stuff. There's the surf and the little jazziness. I don't, I don't think we're a psychobilly band necessarily, but we have these psychotic, high energy, punk rock, rockabilly tendencies, so we're, we're pretty high energy. Um, I think we're just kind of all over the map but it's Americana, it's definitely roots music. See, I like them all. I like being goofy and just high energy and jumping around in front of a, a crowd. We met at different times. I talked to Dave, met him, uh, think, hanging out at the CC Club here in South Minneapolis. We used to travel rocking and rolling at the different clubs. Hey, we wanted Gary to be our drummer a long time, and he kept on turning us down. And uh, we kept on getting what we could find at the time. And that was, was always, always lacking in the band. The right, the right beat, the right feel. I'm the third drummer. Uh, the two before me were both um, Asked to leave, fired, I don't know, quit. Um, but I've been with them now for since 1994. Well, Al and I have known each other since we were 18. We met uh, in Madison. And we were both going to school there and we used to share common taste in music. And we were both guitar players at the time. So we were in a band. I mean, we've been playing together since we were, you know, since then. Um, which is kind of uncanny. It's, I never thought I'd know somebody that long. <laughs> definitely clash in good and bad ways, but we all keep each other in check. There's no way anybody in this band can have a big head because the second they do, it's it's not there anymore. Not physically, but you know, I, uh, verbal assault, I should say. I'm gonna pop, pop a noodle, let the hound dog do. I'm gonna hang that boom from a hangman's news. Ain't gonna slow down to see you cry. Gonna leave that the roy in the fancy line now. As you all know, Dave is very loud, talks a lot. He's always been a good front person for the band because he seems to have absolutely no uh, boundaries at all or no qualms about talking to anybody about anything. We are playing with Dick Dale. No, it's not D I C O P. It's Dick Dale, king of surf guitar at the Caboose. We played some big shows, Reverend Horton Heat playing with uh, Ronnie Dawson, uh, playing with Elvez, um, just meeting people like Brian Setzer at the Stray Cats. I walk in, I'm like, he caught my eye right away because he's, he's Brian Setzer and you know, it's kind of what we do. I think Dave had pretty much just asked him like, could you maybe do a song with us, please, please? The mortifying part of that for me was that we had to play a song called uh, Built for Speed, which we didn't know. Um, so we kind of flubbed our way through that, and then he shook our hands and then ran off. <laughs> I was really into uh, a two record set I bought, which was this Beatles Red album. I wanted to learn how to do that sort of thing, so got a guitar. Along. I love uh, the bass playing Paul McCartney, I just find that's as good as it gets. So many come to mind, I just, I would say Buddy Rich is probably my favorite. My dad had all sorts of records by Herb Alpert, <laughs> the Tijuana Brass, and my sister had Jesus Christ Superstar. Why should you want to know, why are you obsessed? With fighting. Actually, my influences are very broad to classical music, to, you know, old punk rock, to psychedelic, uh, you know, to um, Pink Floyd. We had a whole set of these Sesame Street 45s. So I think I was pretty influenced by Burton, Ernie, and uh, Cookie Monster. C is for Cookie, that's good enough for me. Oh, Cookie, 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 start with C. 
Broadcasting from the fabulous Stardust Lanes in Minneapolis, Minnesota, Comedy Central Sports presents Let's Bowl. Let's Bowl was a uh, public access show here in Minneapolis. It got picked up by Comedy Central. They would do their, their bit, but we might have 10 or 20 seconds as the camera's panning across the audience and we would just like rehearse like just like some quick theme music that we would have written or, or abridged for the show. But I remember that there was a, a cameraman that was doing the close-up work um, that night. And between songs, between shots, he would come to us and say, you know, thousands and thousands of people are going to see this. He was, he was uh, trying to freak us out the entire night. Millions of people will see this, so I hope you don't <laughs> up. <laughs> So I was having a rotten day. I had just dropped off my stuff ahead of time. And Went to the Fine Line Club before the opening act, the Jet City Fix. They were using flash pods at the very end of their set for their very last song and caught the curtains on fire. I got a frantic phone call from Dave later that evening saying, you gotta get down here, man. Get down here right now. The, pl the club's burning down. The club's burning down. And it looked like somebody turned on a gas stove and soon was going, all the way up to us. My base was basically floating in about two feet of water down in the basement of the fine line, and uh, our, pretty much our gear was waterlogged. My drums were sitting in about you know, eight inches of water. Um, fortunately, they're all right, though. I took them all apart and fixed them, and they're fine. Because we're doing a, uh, a ever so non popular music that is underground, that it's, you know, it's hard to work all your life on a band and not do exactly what you want to do with it. What is the future of the Viper Champs? Bill's going to Switzerland. Gary lives in Pittsburgh. Uh, I live in Austin, Texas. Al Savola's going to be right here. And um, we're going to try to try to go to Europe. I guess we will all exist in some sort of virtual world um, on cyberspace eventually because of the geographical uh, locations of all of us. So we do have a record in the can, as they say, that's about ready to come out. And I think it's a really strong record. And I'm excited, I think it's gonna go over like gangbusters. It's gonna be a big record.